Hey, it's Andrew with Elevated Audio here in Denver, Colorado, here to show you the differences between the DDX-393 and the Kimwood DDX-593, along with all the functionality of both units. Today we're going to have the DDX-393 on display. We're going to use this as our demo unit to go through all the functionality of the stereos. Um, you may be wondering what the difference between the 393 and the 593 is. The main difference is HD radio, and the other difference between the two is aptx it gives you better bluetooth sound quality from your android device it won't do it from your iphone so keep that in mind um, but the aptx it gives you faster audio streaming from here to there so if you're streaming like a video from here to there um, in terms of music the audio from there to there is going to be more in sync between the two um, the other thing is normal Bluetooth operates around 200 kilobytes per second. The aptX allows you to stream at 354 kilobytes per second. So it does give you better sound quality, a little more dynamic um, in terms of that. So, um, but those are the only two differences. Screen size is the same. They're both a um, 6.2 inch screen. Uh, they both are Kenwood Exelon units, which means that they come with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Uh, on the back of the 393 here, I'm going to go through everything with you. Maybe I can find something to point with. So starting from the left to the right, we have your satellite radio input. It's going to be Sirius XM, XSV200, or 300V1. Uh, you have your iData Link inputs right there. Uh, you also have... It's a little confusing. <clears throat> this is going to be your steering wheel control input. Sorry. Uh, so, iData Link, steering, steering wheel control, main power harness, obviously. Uh, we have your Bluetooth mic, which I have plugged in right now. We also have the iPod slash AVN. We have video input, or <clears throat> parking brake input, reverse input, front camera input. We have rear camera input. So the front camera input is actually something new with these radios. Um, video output to rear seat. Then we also have preamp outputs right there. So you have your rear, your front, and your subwoofer. These are four volt preamp outputs. Then of course we have our AM FM antenna. So that is all the inputs on the stereo. The 593 is going to be identical. Spin this guy back around. And of course, I'm sorry, you have your USB input. So, those are all your inputs. <clears throat> Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. So, today I wanted to show you this is the home screen. One of the things that's on the box nowadays, the music playback for Android. I wanted to show you how that works. So, we have the HTC. HTC One M8. I plug it in. Keep in mind you do have to have this Kimwood app on there. Kimwood Music Play. So start it up. It's already playing. To search your music, it's gonna be just like an iPod or anything else. You hit the little magnifying glass. You have your playlist, artist, albums. We're gonna click on artist. We're actually going to scroll down here. Okay. So I just want to show you that you can control it by hand if you'd like. So instead of browse mode, you have you can control by hand. So now I could just go in here. Click on music. 
It's right there. So now we can play or control everything by the phone. But as you can see, it is charging the phone at the same time. The USB charging is only half an amp, so don't expect it to really charge up your phone super fast. So I wanted to show you that with the Android. Uh, right now, if we go into telephone, nothing's going to come up because we're not paired yet via Bluetooth. So I'm going to unplug this. Now we're going to go into Bluetooth. I'm going to pair up this iPhone here. So we have... Settings. Bluetooth. On. Okay, so pairing request, pair, pair, unsuccessful. So one cool feature about this stereo is that you can do phone. Um, you could do two phones paired via Bluetooth at the same time. So we have HTC, we have iPhone 5S, and we have an iPhone 6. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to connect. This one's already connected. You can tell. Clicking that little icon, you see... Bluetooth phone one. It has a little one icon up there. Let's see if I can move this up and show you. So it has a one right there. Now I'm gonna connect mine to it as well. I'm gonna go into Bluetooth settings. And it's gonna pop up for you automatically. Right down here at the bottom. DDX E or 3EX. So I just click on that and pair and then yes I would like to pair so now let's see here click on it again Okay, so you see iPhone, which is the black one there. And then you see Andrew's phone, which is this phone right here. Um, so, we have these two phones connected right now. You can tell by going into your the home telephone. You can see Andrew's phone and iPhone right there. So, both phones are connected. So, if we get a phone call, so we're getting a phone call on this phone right here. I'm going to decline that. And then here in a moment, we're going to be getting a phone call on this phone. So if you have your spouse in the car, you guys can both be connected at the same time, which is great now. Um, it will do both phones, but it won't do both phones for music streaming. So only the phone number one is going to be able to stream its music into the stereo. So, see? And now you can see Andrew's phone, and it's ringing in, so, and he hung up. I have the iPhone connected via Bluetooth, and you can see we have Bluetooth audio here, and we are able to hit home to access Bluetooth audio. It's not going to come up here on the main screen. It's click on the little icons right there, and then you see Bluetooth audio. Skip track. So what I really like about this radio is it's EQ. So let's say we're in here, we're listening to the stereo, which is going to be, oops, let's go in here. We don't have an antenna hooked up right now, but say we're listening to the stereo, click the little EQ icon down here. We have a 13 band EQ. And with this guy, you can set it up however you want. Um, 
and it's what I really like about this EQ is it's nice even bandwidths between each octave so um, you can manually adjust it like this or you could just do it by touch um, so out of all the radios 13 band EQ is great we love it here um, pair that up with the 4 volt preamp outputs and you have yourself a pretty good sounding stereo um, this stereo along with the 593 they do not support FLAC files so if you're thinking that you want to hook up a large music source you can't do that you can hook up a thumb drive via USB though you cannot hook up any hard drive that requires power so HDD you can't hook that up um, and you also cannot hook up a computer to it so but you could hook up a thumb drive and have your music there I don't think this is going to work because what's on this thumb drive is mainly FLAC files so cannot play this device so we're going to unplug it here so remember that you can't do FLAC on on this unit but one thing about this EQ is it's going to reset for every source that you put it on so if we set it up like this right now let's go in here and change it to tuner we go in here and you can see it's flat again this is something that you're going to have to keep in mind whenever you're fine tuning the system so you can also connect your iPhone via USB which will keep it charged and um, transfer all your music through it as well so I just plugged in my phone see here in a second it's going to start playing let's click so you go in here pull up all your artists albums just like you were able to before don't have much on here um, at all let's go into iTunes radio so radio you have AM FM built in the DDX 593 is gonna have HD radio built built in which will allow you to do pick up stations between the stations which is great um, go to hdradio.com you're gonna find out all the local stations in your area they come in CD quality instead of FM AM comes in as FM quality so it's pretty cool um, not all stations broadcast in this so make sure you check it out on on hdradio.com to see um, but set presets on this radio very easy just like any other stereo in the world hold it down um, we have FM1 preset FM2 and FM3 and AM you only have one for AM so six or five for AM and we have 15 for FM you have three different seek modes seek one seek two and auto um, or you have auto one auto two and manual so auto one is going to do this is manual right now so you can see it's only jumping by 10 this is going to be auto it's going to scan and scan and scan and scan because I don't have an antenna plugged into it let's do seek and now it's going to go through all your presets so if you're wondering what that seek button does that's what it's changing you don't see anything else changing on the stereo whenever you hit this so it can be confusing but just remember one's gonna scroll through your presets which is great if you have steering wheel controls hooked up so instead of seek 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 you just preset to preset uh, now we're manual and now we are auto like I said it's gonna scan 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 because we don't have a antenna hooked up um, display user customize we have this guy here, bam, okay, home, settings, display, user customize, and we have this one here, and then we have home, settings, display, user customize, and we have that one there. Or you could do no image, um, or just standard. So, panel color. This is where you actually change the color of the buttons here. Once again, you could set that up. If you hit edit, you have RGB. So 
you can really fine tune this to whatever colors in the car. Set your clock. Simply go in here, hit home, settings, system, clock, set. So you can synchronize it with your phone. You could set it up manually. Um, okay, go back. What else do we have here? Input, front camera and rear camera. Front camera, you can reverse the image, turn it on and off. Let's turn it on for demonstration purposes. Let's go into home, settings, input, rear camera. Let's turn that on as well. Parking guidelines, let's set up the guidelines. I'll show you how to do that. So with this, simply click. Oh, you can't do it. You move them with this. Obviously, we don't have a camera hooked up, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, and we could actually go through all these different points and set it up. So something like this is great if the camera is mounted more on the passenger side of the trunk. That way you could kind of skew the angle so you get a better perception of what's behind you. If we hold down this button, front camera, that's how you access it. So camera. So let's hold down the volume button, front cam. No signal, we don't have a camera hooked up to it. But that's how you access it. Uh, so thanks for watching. This has been a good overview of the DDX393, all the little things that it can do with the dual phone connection, high quality hands-free voice, Android music playback. We're gonna use this as our recap. Kenwood sound tuning, our 13 band EQ, your customized background, parking line adjustments, and obviously it's made by Kenwood. It's a great brand, it's a great stereo. Once again, two year manufacturer's warranty on this guy, along with the DDX 593, four volt preamp outputs, um, Bluetooth, dual phone connection, yeah, the whole nine yards. So thanks again for watching. Again, this is Andrew with Elevated Audio here in Denver, Colorado. We service at your home or your office. Uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, like this video if you feel like you learned something today. So thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day.